after one hour and 30 minutes, I finally arrived in the beautiful city of Salaya. This city is supposed to be one of the most dangerous cities in the world, as in today. I've been here now for like a half an hour. So far, I feel great. I'm gonna wander around here today and tomorrow. And let's enjoy this journey. Dulce? It is, yes, it is sweet. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I don't know what it is, but... Kind of sweet. <laughs> so here in downtown Salaya, got a beautiful water tower. I want to show you something, the stats don't lie, but I don't know if I have to agree with this. It says Salaya, Mexico, where I'm right now, ranking of the most dangerous cities in the world in 2023, murder rate per 100,000 inhabitants. Salaya is number one, followed by Tijuana, Ciudad Juarez, Ciudad Obregón, Irapuato, Ensenada. But so far, gonna see if I'm safe over here. I feel safe actually. It's a really nice vibe. There's a lot of kids playing around, a lot of families, good food, uh, a lot of stands, they're selling a lot of stuff. We are going to find a beer somewhere, I guess. If it's still open and taquitos. Y en las noticias aparecen cuatro cadáveres destazados en bolsas de plástico en las orillas del río Lago. Un helicóptero sobrevuela la ciudad poniendo a la población en pánico. Asesinan al hijo de la calle municipal en la luz del día. Todo el mundo se pregunta en dónde están. Nadie lo sabe. Ni los municipales, los estatales. Federales, FESPES, Fuerzas Especiales de New. And right now, we are in downtown Salaya. I was here yesterday night. I enjoyed being here. And now we're going to take a look during the day. It's a beautiful cathedral church. And there they got the Bola de Agua. Which actually... Hi, everything alright, man? Uh, the water tower and yeah more central Salaya can be well, let's go so we are entering the uh, well, downtown area yes love it as you can see not a lot of people Calm. Here in 
Himalaya. It's a vibrant city so far. Even of its bad reputation, I must admit, the people try to make the best out of it. People try to enjoy their good food, music. So uh, let's go further into downtown, see how it's like. So we are entering this beautiful market here where you can buy whatever you need, clothes, stuff for the kitchen. If you want to eat, you can go upstairs. Polvo para chinches, cucarachas y pulgas. Acabe con Let's see if we can find some other things. Got a good breakfast with tripa. What's exactly the name again? Pacharela. Pacharela. Typical Salayan food. I already finished uh, mine. <laughs> uh, it's, it's right there, but I'm gonna take another one. So I had one of these. This was super good. I'm gonna get one of these, I think, uh, chicken ones. Tiene otra gordita, eso con queso y con pollo. ¿Qué es diferente? Las dos son la misma. Okay, sí, por favor. Here you got the tripa. That's what she's eating right now. So this is a gordita with pollo. They here they put it in the inside. Look at that. It's kind of hard to eat, but it's good. So we just ate around uh, four uh, tacos. Let's say two gorditas, two tacos, two drinks, 200 pesos. So around $12 and I'm, I'm satisfied. And now we're gonna try to find uh, some socks because we've been on the road and we're out of socks. I mean, we use all our socks. <laughs> Beautiful piñatas from Salaya. I think we should choose a nice pair of socks to give us good luck on the road. Maybe I will go for one of these. You think about these ones? <laughs> for you? Yeah. Of no, I'm gonna go with the FC Salaya one. Is this Salaya? No, FC? Just Chivas. Oh. That's Chivas, okay. That was this one then, that's the same. America. Look at that. So now I'm walking inside one of the neighborhoods here in Salaya. I must admit it, uh, it's quiet. I don't feel unsafe. I don't know if I should do this walking around with a camera in an area like this, but so far, uh, if you don't try, you never know. And there in the distance, you can see a train passing by. I'm gonna walk up that way. Actually, last night when I was sleeping, you can hear this train honking and honking like for like literally, well, half an hour, an hour or so. So, but here you can see. The beautiful streets of Salaya so far. Yeah, feel uh, 
feel safe so far. I mean, I don't live here, so I cannot judge, but. This kind of reminds me of Tijuana. Like the narrow streets. The calmness too. I mean, it's Monday afternoon around 12 o'clock. So obviously a lot of people might just been working and not being at home, but you can see there's literally no one in the streets. There's a little dog over there. What's up, dude? And another one. Actually, poor people are living next to the train track because that horn of that train is just my my ears are still beeping from it. Well, it was a nice experience to see the train, but these trains are going from Celaya, Mexico, all the way to the United States, and from the United States back into Mexico. So it was a nice experience. So I've been walking over 45 minutes now in the city center, and I must admit, Celaya. There's not much to do. I mean, there's, it's, it has a high crime rate, but uh, I don't see anything special. Luckily, I didn't see anything. But uh, there's not much to do. It's a small city compared to Mexico City. It's super small. And um, what we're going to do now is we're gonna go to the stadium of Salaya FC. I'm gonna see how that's like. Maybe there's uh, something going on over there, maybe we can buy a t-shirt, who knows, so let's find out. So I just arrived here at the stadium of Club Salaya FC, but I can't enter and they don't have a store because I was hoping to buy a nice souvenir, a nice t-shirt. But uh, as you can see, everything is closed. Can't get any closer to the stadium. Um, so what I'm gonna do is gonna go drive around and find a nice place to uh, make an end of this video. But again, there's not much going on here in Salaya. So if you ever are gonna travel to Salaya or you need to go in the direction of Salaya and you're like, hey, I'm gonna avoid this place because it's dangerous. Um, I can tell you, my opinion is that it's kind of safe and there's not much going on. I might be wrong. Like a church over there, no? It's a museum. Last time I, I was here, it was a, it was a museum. So, this is going to be the end of the video. Uh, first, I want to address a couple of things. We went into this restaurant, bar. You can see the beautiful Heineken sign from the Netherlands. And. Just came in here for a beer. He was so nice to turn off the music, so will let me speak. Um, so my thoughts on uh, Salaya, it's actually uh, well, very good. I don't live here, but as I said, according to Google, 
it's one of the most dangerous cities in the world. And I've been talking to some locals here and they say, yes, it is dangerous, but you know, it's not like you can't walk on the streets with your phone or you need to watch out everywhere you're going because this city, it's super small. So you can literally cross this whole city of Salaya from left to right in within like 30 minutes walking or less. Uh, imagine driving. So everything is quite close to each other. And I had a safe feeling over here. Um, it's not a touristy area, so there are really a lot of nice places around Salaya, which is considered as very safe. And obviously there's a lot more things to do for tourists and for people that are visiting Mexico. But Salaya is obviously not a place that you go to to see how it is. Um, again, I felt really safe. I enjoyed being here. I must admit there was not much to do. Uh, as in yesterday, we tried to get some beers in the bar, but everything around 9.30, 10 o'clock closes. There's no alcohol to get anymore, not even from the Oxo. So we went home and I tried to uh, give you, uh, you know, a feeling how it's like here. But yeah, actually there's not much to see. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of Salaya. But next time if you are going in the direction of Salaya or Guanajuato here in Mexico, don't feel unsafe. Just make sure that you know where you're going and don't go in, you know, in weird areas around Salaya. So I would say it's safe. Just uh, take care. That's all.